What's up, guys? What's, what's up, guys? Welcome to my tea time sesh. Today, we're going to talk about the transition from ICU nursing into an SRNA. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to A Couple Nurses. This is Cordero. In today's episode, we're gonna be telling you guys about our transition from ICU nursing into becoming an SRNA or matriculating into an anesthesia program. So before we get into today's content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and remember if you find any value in our content, please comment nurses rock down in the bottom and uh, check out our podcast, Code Blue and Bullshit. It'll be in the bottom as well. So there's really three main pillars that we're really having to change our mindset on and really prepare for as we get into our anesthesia programs. Uh, so the very first one is content. We're thinking about what kind of content we're gonna be putting out, our, our household, and then our mentality. Uh, so very first thing, mentality, man, um, I think that has a lot to do with the way that we think. So right now we're thinking as ICU nurses, as critical care nurses, we're taking care of our patients and we're thinking about how we're gonna transition to anesthesia providers to where while we're still responsible for the patient's life, um, we're dealing with drugs that require a much more astute attention to detail. You're controlling the patient's hemodynamics, their pain, their anxiety, while somebody's cutting into them essentially, right? Uh, so I think that responsibility, uh, just getting prepared for that responsibility uh, takes a certain type of mentality. So um, we're also thinking about our household. So in our household, we're thinking about, you know, how can we lease out our home now and maximize our value on that end? Uh, and while we purchase another home in Louisiana, how can we maximize the value there? Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, it comes about it comes down to assets. And when we did the math on how much it may cost to rent in Louisiana over the next three years versus you know the amount of a down payment, they're about the same on a new home. We're getting prepared for that. Speaking of real estate agents in Louisiana getting our finances ready, talking to lenders, all those things. So that's a big preparation itself. And then also getting prepared to understand we're not gonna have a uh, income or a um, income from our W-2 jobs for the next two, three years is something that we have to get our mind wrapped around as well. And then finally, uh, our content strategy. So a lot of our content that we've been creating on YouTube and through our videos on Instagram has been really focused around education and teaching other nurses and ICU nurses um, concepts that we've mastered. As we're about to become students again, we're not going to have mastered the concepts of anesthesia. And we know that if we do start educating on those anesthesia type topics, it's going to be a lot more niche down than what we do now, which is pretty much talk to critical care nurses, right? Uh, so we're thinking, you know, do we want to educate on things that we haven't mastered yet? Of course not, but we want to continue creating content for you guys. So we're thinking about vlogging. Uh, we're thinking about continuing to make ICU focused resources and education for you all. The colleges moving into our new home, you know, some of those things, a little more intimate things we're going to be sharing with you guys, but uh, we'll definitely keep the podcast coming. So if you haven't checked out Code Bloom Bull right now, there's a link down in the bottom. Uh, we have a, a fun time doing those. Uh, we're, that really gives you a behind the scenes of what does nursing look like? What does ICU nursing look like? You know, we have some collaborations. We like to come down in the pipeline where we're speaking with other nurses and nurse influencers, you know, about their experience as a nurse and other specialties. So the podcast is definitely going to get a lot of our focus. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go tune in now. But we keep making videos for you guys. But I did want to give you guys a behind the scenes thought process of some of the things we're working through right now. And uh, really why we haven't made some of that educational content, you know, because we're busy. Uh, so comment nurses rock at the bottom and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.